welcome to another episode of Carolyn and her clothes. So today's a big day for me. It is my birthday and I got my Stitch Fix. So I'm going to open this up. Um, couple things. First, I am copying Kayla from Kayla's Closet. Um, I saw her wear a red sweater with a white top and I was thinking about this red sweater that's been sitting in my closet for practically a year now and this white blouse that I've gotten since the summertime. So I kind of wanted to wear this together. She kind of inspired me. Um, second thing is I did peek at my Stitch Fix as I always do and I was just like, hmm, it's not very exciting, but we'll look, try and keep an open mind. So if you don't know about Stitch Fix, Stitch Fix is a styling service. You pay them $20 for them to style you. Anything that you decide to keep in the box, they send you five items, will get applied, that $20 will get applied to your purchase. If you don't keep anything, you are out that $20. However, I was offered the Style Plus like a couple years ago. I've been doing this a couple years now. And I can get unlimited fixes. There's absolutely no styling fee. So if I'm not happy with the box, I just send it back and I don't get charged anything. Um, so there's absolutely no charge for them to send this out to me and there's no charge for returning. I just shove what I don't want back in this return mailer and walk down to the bottom of my driveway and mail it back. Okay, you do get an invoice and a note from your stylist. Let's see if I have the same stylist. No, I don't. I kind of thought I did. Hello there, Carolyn. Happy fixed day. I'm so thrilled to be styling you today. How are you today? I had so much fun picking out new items for you to try. I read your request for this fix and unfortunately I was not able to locate the majority of items. I was able to snag a few items for your list. The Alala Haran Mesh Jogger will be super soft and so comfortable. These are a tad above your preference, however. I asked her for less than 50 and these are 135. <laughs> So that's a huge difference. Um, but they're super soft and so comfortable. Um, I'm, however, I'm thinking they'll be well worth your purchase. The navy cut from the cloth corduroy jeans will be perfect to add to your closet. Pair these with the design history drop shoulder pullover and layer with the Kendra Stott long pendant necklace. Now I did ask for a long silver necklace. Keep your request in for the next stitch and we'll do our best to find each item for you. Please let me know how all the items looked and felt. Until next time, Victoria. Now, I have nothing against Victoria, but I was starting to build this relationship with, with Jaden. So I'm kind of bummed that I didn't have Jaden again. And I kind of, when I saw this fix, I kind of went, hmm, I thought Jaden was kind of on my, you know, same wavelength here. And when I saw these things, I'm like, eh. So it kind of kind of tells me, all right? So let's see. First up is this 41 Hawthorne Tamsin Bell Sleeve Pullover in Black, size extra small for $58. Okay, it has the, the bell sleeves. It's a fine gauge sweater, totally my style. But I can tell you right now, I have a bazillion of one black sweaters. <laughs> And I really cannot justify another black sweater. This is 80% rayon, 17% spandex, no, sorry, 17% nylon, 3% spandex made in China. Of course, because everything is made in China these days. All right, so it is a very lovely sweater. It has the crew neck, it has the bell sleeves. It looks like it's a little bit on the longer side. I will try it on, I will give it my, my fair judgment. I don't think $58 is a bad price for this. It is a very nice material sweater, fine gauge. Um, do I need a black sweater? No. All right, and next up, and wow, these are soft. These are the Alala Heron Mesh Jogger, black size, extra small, $135. I am not spending $135 for something I don't plan on wearing outside the house. Um, they're called mesh. Why are they called mesh? Well, we're supposed to they're see-through. I can see that right away. So I don't know if you can see me, but I can see you right through this material. Um, super soft. They are mesh because they're mesh down here at the bottom. So the leg is like vented with mesh. I can show you on either side. Give me a minute and you'll be able to see these better when it's on me how it's mesh and it's on both sides okay uh it has a functional drawstring and you know they have the jogger bottoms other than that 
nothing spectacular about these. I have no idea why they're $135. I'm just going to assume that's the name brand and that's what they charge. But, um, yeah, no, mm -hmm. no, 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 not happening. <laughs> okay. Next up, this design history, Willie drop shoulder pullover. They're calling this brown size extra small. $68. Um, you know, it's a sweater. It's kind of like a color block with beige. It has a crew neck, which I mean, I'll wear a crew neck. I don't have anything against a crew neck, but I'll, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes these, because of the way I'm built, I kind of feel these things kind of look matronly on me. All right. And let's see if I can find the material on this one. on the side 60% cotton 40% acrylic all right so it's a cream and uh, beige kind of or tan color block so no I don't not too excited about that next is a pair of navy blue corduroys from cut in the cloth and a size zero petite they're the Dana skinny corduroy. Now, if they had these in a brown, I might be interested in them. But to me, navy blue is so close to dark wash jeans, and I have so much in jeans anyway. Why do I need another pair of navy blue? They do seem to have some nice stretch to them, and they're $78, which is pretty much the standard price for cut and cloth jeans and corduroys. So, I mean, more navy, you know, it's like it's, it's very similar to jeans in my mind. Okay, and last up is the Kendra Scott Tay Long Pendant Necklace. They're calling it white. I thought it was in silver, so we'll have to look at it for $78. Oh, it's a stone. Interesting. Okay, so it has a white, like almost marble, so it has some gray in it, stone, and it has like a tassel bottom. And it is, you know, it's exactly kind of what I wanted. It was a, a long silver necklace, so I can't say that she didn't listen to my note. She did. This is a long silver necklace. Um, I'm not sure I'm actually in love with it, though. I'm not sure I'm digging the tassel down here at the bottom. But, you know, if it just had that, it might be even, like, more of a possibility <laughs> if it didn't have the tassel. But let me try it on. I'll, I'll be keep an open mind. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy, and I know I'm, I'm getting a trunk club soon. And the trunk club also sent me a Kendra Scott necklace, a different one. So I'm probably gonna choose between one of the two. Obviously, not both. And I think from what I saw in the previews, I think I like that better. So I'm gonna take a break. I am not going to try any of this on right now. I'll probably leave that for tomorrow. Okay, take care and then see you then. Hello, it is now the next day and I am filming uh, the first outfit. This is what she suggested to repair the sweater with the corduroy. They're the cut from the cloth corduroy, size zero T. They're typical five button styling here. It has uh, the coin pocket up here, regular pockets here and regular pockets in the back. They fit well. There's no gapping. Um, they're comfortable. I have no issues with the way they fit at all. Um, they're a zero petite, which is my typical size in these types of name brands. Um, I don't need them, you know? I mean, if they were a different color, like maybe a chocolate brown or maybe, maybe like a tan or a camel, I can justify them. But these are just so close to regular colored blue jeans. I really just don't need them. I'm gonna come a little closer so you can see the thickness of the corduroy in this. It is a thin, fine gauge corduroy. It is not a thick corduroy, all right? I also have on the necklace, it is um, silver, and you can see that it has the marble stone and the tassel. Uh, I'm just not into tassels, to be honest with you. It's just not my thing. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be sending the, the pants back and the necklace. Um, the sweater, I have no issues about. It is not itchy. It's comfortable. It is a little long in the arms, which is to be expected because I am under 5'2", or just about 5'2". All right, so uh, no big deal. I can roll it. I think it fits fine. It's not particularly flattering. It doesn't show my shape at all. Um, 
it's not awful, but it's not particularly figure flattering either. So this is going back. There's nothing, nothing that draws me to this sweater either. There's nothing wrong with it, but nothing that says, ooh, by me. Okay. So that's the first outfit. Next, I'm going to try on those $135 pair of joggers. Give me a minute. Next up are these Alala joggers for $135, and I have no idea why they are that price. And there is no way, not only would I want to pay $135 for these, I don't even think I would pay $35 for these. They're super soft. They are so thin. There's nothing in them. There's, there's no fleece lining. There's absolutely nothing. They're paper thin. And then on top of that, you, you have, I guess what they call a detail here, the whole back of the leg is completely meshed, so it would be freaking freezing my ass off. So I don't understand the whole point of these joggers. Soft, but super, super thin. Completely impractical for the Northeast in the winter. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are no question going to be bad. There's no way I would buy them, period, at pretty much any price. Maybe like 10 or $15 if they were, maybe, you know? Uh, at 135, they're off their rocker. And I just paired it with a Stitch Fix sweatshirt that they sent me. This is from a couple months ago, a Threads for Thought sweatshirt. Um, and I complained spending 60 bucks, or I think it was 58 for this one. And this one was worth it. I've gotten a lot of use out of this sweatshirt. It's a very soft, cozy, comfy sweatshirt that does have a light fleece lining, and it's perfect for indoors here. The pants, however, no. I would even be cold in my house in these. Okay, next up is the last item, and that is the black sweater, so give me a minute. Okay, last item is this black sweater. Um, it has the type of, well, I would say somewhere between a crew and a boat neck, and it has a little bit of ribbing here at the shoulder, um, like a banding. I don't know if you can see that. And it has the bell sleeves, and the bell sleeves have like a little bit of detailing on them. Um, this sweater is totally my style. I would definitely wear something like this. If I were in the store and the price were cheap enough, I would get this. Um, I would have to look again. I believe I said it was $58. Very nice sweater. I really just don't need a black sweater. If this had been a different color, it would have been a possibility. Um, but, you know, I just, I just don't need a black sweater right now. So I just paired it with a pair of black jeans from um, Loft from last year or the year before and a pair of black boots because I plan to wear these jeans today. So I don't think I would do black on black so much with this outfit. I might, I don't know, but it was just, I was going to wear these jeans anyway today, so I threw them on. Um, you know, I, I really, uh, you know, it's a shame. I like this top. I will let them know that, but I just do not, cannot justify another black sweater in this arsenal of sweaters I have. Okay, well, if you st stuck around, I appreciate it. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'm going to be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway. I recommend that you subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified of future videos from me. I do a lot of unboxings and shopping hauls. Um, I have a trunk club coming up, a trend send coming up, and like a miscellaneous shopping haul I have to go through here. Take care. Until next time.